Shalom Chavrim, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live here in Orlando, Florida, where people are getting ready for Hurricane Irma. And the residents here of Orlando are taking no chances whatsoever. Everywhere you go here for the last two days, water supplies have been running extremely thin. And in fact, in most places, there are there is no water whatsoever. Uh, Walmart occasionally getting it in, but they have long lines when they do get a little bit of water in. As you can see, shelves are empty, batteries, flashlights, all these things here are missing from the shelves because these people are not taking a chance. And uh, according to Whole Foods here and behind me, as we went in there today, they stated that they're not anticipating getting any more water supplies in until after the storm. You think that would be just a little bit kind of odd, seeing as the fact that people need to prepare. And of course, as we've seen, the people are definitely preparing. Walmart has a limit on two uh, packages of water, two cases of water per family. And so we're watching how things are just disappearing, even inside of Lowe's, Home Depot. Uh, plywood is beginning to disappear faster and faster from the shelves. And of course, we hear today that the storm is taking a little bit of a turn towards the north now. Uh, more suspected that it may come, in fact, towards Orlando. There are expected, according to the weather, uh, her, weather Hurricane Center there that they are expecting in Orlando that they could receive winds up to 135 miles per hour. I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live here in Orlando, Florida as Hurricane Irma approaches the coastline of Florida. Shalom.